I mean, Caroline, it's shares of Zoom and, and the total opposite reaction I think of a lot of people were expecting is there was some hesitation coming into this uh, quarterly earnings season, some tough comparables, and yet Zoom video seems to do it. Third quarter revenue, $1.05 billion versus estimates of $1.02 billion. Down to the bottom line, third quarter adjusted EPS, $111 versus estimates of $109, but it really is maybe the fourth quarter and, and full year revenue that looks better than expected. Fourth quarter revenue, $1.05 to $1.053. Well, it's ahead of estimates, 1.02. That's a lot of numbers. Let's get some analysis with Amin Benside, of course, our media analyst here for Bloomberg Intelligence. How much do you see sort of impressive numbers that we're looking at versus, I think, maybe just low expectations heading into this report? I think it's a combination of both, but I think Zoom in the near term answered very well uh, with boosting their guidance, uh, the expectations for, for them for the next few quarters or post-pandemic. But I think the question for investors is still going to remain what happens to Zoom for next year? How did they, you know, uh, what are basically the catalysts of growth for next year? So I think that's going to be a focus. And just quickly looking at the numbers, we saw how the enterprise customers' uh, growth for that, um, you know, cohort still decelerated a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that could be uh, maybe something worrisome for the future. And I mean, thinking about catalysts for growth next year when it comes to Zoom, you had a really interesting report out on the terminal last week that M&A may be needed for Zoom to boost its enterprise gains. What kind of targets are you thinking of here? It's a very good question. So when you look at the enterprises, just having a video solution these days is not enough. So they need more collaboration tools, like what Microsoft does best uh, with Microsoft Teams and Office 365. But Zoom was uh, going to be emerging with Five and I, but unfortunately, that didn't happen. So I think um, companies like that and companies more focused on collaboration space that could help and boost its product line could be very interesting uh, You know, for, for Zoom. Zoom to boost its product. And just to throw, throw to some names here, Monday.com, Smartsheet, other collaboration tools like that could be interesting. I mean, how geographically diverse is Zoom and how are they looking at expanding? It's mostly US, uh, but the expansion, I think, is going to come organically. Once we have a very strong product that enterprises domestically adopt, the, the expectations are there might be one or two year lag, and that's also going to be adopted internationally. How convinced are investors about a strategy to not just be seen as this work from home trade? I'm going through the press release, and they talk about their video engagement center, where they have a hot desk, whiteboarding, a smart gallery. All of this is for co-located, remote high Hybrid, as well as companies that are looking for it to be fully returned. Have they convinced investors that they really can do it all? I think that's the main question for the next few years. I think, can they do video well? Uh, I think they have proven that they can. Mm -hmm. But the answer is for enterprise customers, they have different needs. Uh, security, for example, comes to mind. And that's one of the very important things uh, to have in a video platform. Uh, but in addition to that, as I mentioned, having that video additional to other collaboration tools is going to be the focus for the next few years. We haven't seen that so far. So we will see if they do more m and to, you know, to close that gap. I have a little bit of a wild card because it feels like every company is trying to get in on the metaverse right now. <laughs> Could you ever see Zoom trying to get into that space? Um, quick answer there. From the infrastructure side, I don't see why they can do it. They have the technology, but uh, it's, it's a very interesting question to see if Zoom you know, fully joins the metaverse, either VR or AR. So the short answer is we don't know. It's wait and see.